Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts and welcome to another Not With Me video. If this is your first time watching a Not With Me video of mine, it is just a video in which I am making a bracelet. I film the entire process from start to finish and then I speed the footage up into a time lapse so we can look at the whole thing together, chat about it and um, have a good time. And usually I chat about random stuff. <laughs> uh, today, I don't really know. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna be catching up with you guys because I haven't actually posted in a while and I haven't recorded in a while. Um, sorry about my voice, by the way. I am a little bit sick. I'm consistently just getting sick. Like, one of the reasons why um, this video is being posted so late, because I actually make this bracelet right about a month or two ago uh, and I filmed this video and I still have a bunch of uh, other bracelets that I also filmed Not With Me's for that I haven't posted a uh, video of was because I was uh, I was sick with COVID about a month ago, which is when I was planning on uh, filming the voiceovers originally. And then I had a lot of, uh, and then obviously I got, I got better, I was fine. Uh, it wasn't like horribly horrible, <laughs> it was fine. Uh, and then I got better and then I had some travels. Um, and then I got back and, and, had, and had some more travels. Um, and now I'm sick again. Uh, not with COVID this time, just, just you know, regular old uh, cold. But yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna delay it any longer. Like I might as well just, just film it. So I do apologize for my voice. This bracelet, I, I love it. I love it so much. This is one of my favorite bracelets I made this entire year uh, and probably really ever because I've been wanting to make this pattern for forever. Uh, this pattern has been on my to-do list for a really long time. I finally got around to making it. This bracelet was made as part of the 24-hour alpha challenge. I actually did two 24-hour challenges this year. That is intense. I cannot believe I did that. Uh, and I did three in total. The first one was a complete failure. So if you want to watch me completely fail, watch the first one. But the second one... Uh, was actually quite successful and I did uh, that one with normal bracelets mostly. Uh, that was actually kind of a coincidence. I didn't I didn't really plan to just make it with normal bracelets but then when I realized that I had, I was just in a normal bracelet mood. Um, and then when I realized that I did that first one exclusively with normal bracelets, I was like, wait a minute, might as well try this again but with alphas. So I actually filmed another one that was, that was intense. Uh, and that one was also quite successful. I made less bracelets than I did in the normal bracelet one but that is pretty much only because Alpha braces just take more time. Uh, they take more effort. One row takes quite a significant amount of time. Um, so I did make slightly less, but I still made a lot and I was very, very happy. And this bracelet was made um, as part of that. And I had a blast. And I'm actually really happy with the colors that I chose here. Um, I took quite a long time sort of picking out the colors and making sure that um, I liked them. And they turned out beautifully. Uh, obviously these are supposed to be blueberries and blueberries aren't really purple and mine kind of are <laughs> but I like it nonetheless I think uh, I love do you know what one of the difficult parts for me specifically um when I'm making alpha bracelets uh is alpha bracelets that have like sort of shading within them you can see it here a little bit you've got sort of the the berries and the berries have a little bit of shading on the left side um and not even just shading but also like any colors that are similar to each other like the greens for example we've got the actual color for the leaf and then we've got the color for the outline I find it quite difficult um to pick out colors with different kind of shades within them uh, and I'm so glad that these turned out great <laughs> because sometimes you can't really tell until you start making the bracelet and then you're like mm, these don't actually go well together in fact that happened with one of the other bracelets that I made in that 24-hour bracelet challenge which was the um, clouds bracelet uh, I did a bracelet it was quite, kind of thin um, it was a thinner thinner bracelet so it was less strings and there were less colors uh, and it was sort of like a sunset clouds kind of vibe um, and I picked out some pinks for that because I wanted to go with like a pink sunset and the colors that I picked out there didn't go together as well as I thought they would. They, um, sometimes what I find my, my issue is uh, more frequently is I pick out colors and it turns out that they blend in together and you can't actually tell the difference between them when you're making the bracelet, uh, when you've made the bracelet rather. But in, in the case of the clouds pattern, it was actually the opposite. I feel like they stood out too much from each other. Anyway, I actually filmed that for a knot with me as well. So you'll see that later on. So I'm not gonna talk about that bracelet too much. I'll talk about it when, when I show you it, um, but yeah, point is very, very happy with how uh, the colors turned out here. And I had so much fun making this. Um, I, I really, like genuinely really enjoyed making this. This was a lot of fun. I think I was listening um, 
to the audiobook one of the one of the throne of glass audiobooks i was listening to i've currently read the first three books uh, and i'm in the process of well i read listened to uh the first three books um in the throne of glass series i'm currently listening th- through the fourth one haven't listened to it in ages though i kind of forgot it existed um if i'm being completely honest i haven't really listened to audiobooks in a while now mostly been digitally or physically reading but i think that's what i was listening to when when i was making this I sometimes do get these like flashbacks to to what the media was that I was consuming at the time. Like sometimes it's uh, TV shows and such. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's let's catch up. Uh, how are you guys? How you been? I, I do love it when you comment and tell me like what you guys have been up to. So so please do. I'll try to reply as well. Um, I've been good. I haven't actually filmed or recorded in a really long time. Um, if, if you remember, I was, I was in Russia for three months over the summer, uh, visiting family, um, I was able to work from home from there, um, and I filmed a bunch of videos there while I was there, uh, and I got back, uh, and I was in London for, like, four days, which getting back was, was a whole thing, but, um, I was here for four days in London, I'm here now as well, and then, um, I flew to Spain. And I met my sister there, who lives in the Czech Republic, We and, and her baby, we met there. We had a very nice holiday for about 10 days, I think we were there. Uh, I, I laid on some beaches and, you know, got some sun, which I haven't seen for a while. I haven't been on a holiday, uh, well, since before COVID, really. I mean, it's quite self-explanatory as to why. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was very nice to, I also never... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, also never been to never been to Spain before, so it was it was a very nice time. We went to the south of Spain to the sort of the beachy side, um, and I really I really had a good time. It was great, and now I'm back, uh, and I am soon going to the U.S. Uh, to visit my family there. And basically, I'm using up all of the holiday days that I have <laughs> acquired um, because obviously, uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't really spend any holiday days up until now. So like now that September's come along, I have to spend all of my holiday days. Um, so yeah, I'm going to the US, I'm going to Florida, which is where my family live. Uh, I've got my my aunt, uncle, my grandparents, my cousins. I haven't seen them again since before COVID. Uh, so, and, and my ki- cousins are kids, so they've like grown up quite a bit since I last saw them as well, which would be very nice. There's a video I did with my cousin, well, not with my cousin, but like um, a video I did featuring my cousin's work, which was the... Uh, beginner mistakes uh video i think i just remember that um i filmed quite a few videos this was like way way early in my channel prior to my face reveal even uh if any of you were there at the time also like drop a comment i would love to see that because that that was a vibe (laughs) like i i started filming videos on this channel um without showing my face because i was really anxious um and it was was scary you know like it it is it's, it's a scary thing to just like put yourself out there on the internet i don't know Uh, So I was really scared and I was filming videos uh, just with my hands and and not my face in them and I filmed a bunch There were some good videos that came out of that. There was the Michael's Hall video where I went to Michael's for like one of the first times I've obviously been there before but um, it was one of the first times there and I had I'm actually really excited to visit it again That is like um, I'm visiting Barnes & Nobles. I'm visiting Michael's and Target Uh, Those are like the three things on my itinerary for when I get there um my, my my thoughts are like scattering all over the place, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, I filmed a bunch of videos there, and one of the videos that I filmed was the mistakes that beginners make because uh, I started teaching uh, I started teaching my cousin how to make friendship bracelets while I was there, and uh, uh, I I stopped paying attention for for a little bit. And she was just making it on on her own, and she made quite a lot of mistakes, and that was a great opportunity to actually show in a video, um, sort of exactly what kind of mistakes. <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, beginners make, I'm gonna try and cut this out, but my god, uh, what kind of mistakes beginners make when they make friendship bracelets, because obviously it's hard for me to replicate that, uh, you know, myself, so that was a good video, and then obviously I, I, I went back and I taught her as well, and hopefully, uh, I think she's into, um, making bracelets with beads currently, uh, I might be mistaken, but I think that's what my grandma told me. So maybe she's going to teach me how to make those and I'll teach her a little bit more about friendship bracelets because I think she's expressed interest in that a little bit. Um, We'll see. Anyway, I'm hopefully going to have a great time. I haven't seen them in years and I'm going for another 10 days, uh, I believe. So it'll it'll be a good time. But I am also very excited to be back once I get back from that trip. Um, 
I just haven't been haven't been in London for a very long time at all. So um, like I haven't been properly in London even before I went to Russia like in June. Um, I had just been in the Czech Republic visiting my sister, um, and there was like f- a week in between. So I haven't really properly been back home for a good chunk of time in in, in a while. Uh, so I'm quite excited to get back home as well. And just uh, I. I found I started really enjoying the autumn season because uh, ever since I stopped going to school, because that's what it used to sort of associate with, obviously, you know, summer vacation ends and they have to go to school and I sort of didn't like autumn because of that. But now that I don't have that, um, I started enjoying autumn much more. I actually bought a, like, this really comfy recliner chair, which I have wanted for years. I've wanted one of these for years and I finally got one. Um, it's this like massive recliner chair that has like a footrest that comes out and everything. And um, I've organized this sort of little reading nook for myself. And so I'm so excited for autumn time to just like curl up in this chair and like read a bunch of books. I've already read two in that chair um, and I've, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, um, I have quite a few videos actually left from when I was when I was in Russia. Mm. There were a lot of videos that I sort of started filming that I never ended up editing. Uh, it's, yeah, having a full-time job and doing this is kind of a lot. So there, there was a lot that kind of got started but never got finished. So you might see quite a bit of videos uh, from, from that time, but that is to say more videos are coming. There might be a break between this one and the next one just because I am going on holiday and I don't think I have anything else prepped. But after the fact, there will be quite a few more videos. Anyway, here is the bracelet. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. It is such a beautiful bracelet. The pattern is linked in the description in case you want to make it as well. And just as a quick reminder, my book is now out. The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is now out and you can buy that wherever you typically buy books. So excited for you guys to see it. And if you already have it, which I know that some of you guys have it, please let me know what you think. I am so excited to hear your thoughts. Uh, good or bad, really. Um, I would just love any kind of feedback. Anyway, huge shout out to my patrons as well. Thank you so much for supporting my videos and my channel. If, if you also want to become a patron, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.